ladies and gentlemen, this time around, the revolution will not be televised. But yeah, I have less than two weeks left in Hong Kong. So, three and a half months, absolutely flown by. I actually have the end in sight now, so basically just gonna try and make the most of it. That's the plan. When I was sleeping on the train, sleeping on Lesser Old Lab out in the rain, without even a single slice of pizza to my name. Too proud to beg for change, mastering the pain. When New York niggas was calling Southern rappers lame, but then Jack and I slang. I used to get dizzy spells, hear a little ring, the voice of an angel telling me my name. Telling me that one day I'ma be a great man Transforming with the Megatron doll spitting out flames Eating whack rappers alive, shitting out chains I ain't believe it then, nigga I was homeless Fighting, shooting dice, smoking weed on the corners Trying to find the meaning of life in the corona Till the five percenters rolled up on the nigga and informed them You either build or destroy, where you come from? The Mac know your projects in the third ward slum, hum It's quite amazing that you rhyme how you do and that you shine like you grew up in a shrine in Peru Question 14, Muslim Lesson 2 Dip Diver, Civilizer 85 -er. I make the devil hit his knees and say to our father Abracadabra, you rockin' with the true and living. Shout out the Lights Out, Joseph I, Chewy Bivens Shout out the Baltimore, Baton Rouge, my crew in Richmond Why y'all debating who the truth was like Jews and Christians I was on Cecil B, Broad Street, Master, North Philly So, taking off the last places on the list Today I'm in Tayo, which is a fishing village Which is northwest on Lantau Island so come out here to explore take in the fishing lifestyle and enjoy the vibes because it's a rare day which is actually sunny so I'm gonna try and catch a tan <laughs> if I can actually speak I'm gonna try and catch a tan today so I'm looking hella pale obviously in nature here in Hong Kong that a lot of people don't actually get a chance to see or don't know about but I definitely recommend it if you get a chance to come to Hong Kong to move off the main island and go to Lantau and to Lama Island only thing I don't miss is I won't miss when I leave is the mosquitoes and the next level humidity where it has been 40 degrees like pretty much 35 to 40 every day for the last month it's not ideal to work, to go out, to do anything socially, to explore, to train. It just makes everything a lot harder. <laughs> but yeah, you just have to roll with it.
so humid here that it blurred out my freaking lens. Absolutely soaked. Had an 8,000 calorie refeed yesterday as well and I just feel like I sweated everything out. I'm just completely soaked. But the view here is just absolutely unreal. It's even hard to just take in. I don't know why, but the humidity just completely, completely blurred out the lens of the camera. I couldn't even record, like. Yeah, man, this is actually a glorious day for Hong Kong, that the weather's like this. It's something that really doesn't happen much. It's been a lot, and I mean a lot of thunderstorms. But yeah, still trying to get over the fact that three months has passed this fast. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, man, wouldn't have it any other way. Looking forward to more traveling and more vibes. And last but not least, shout out to Hong Kong. It's been fucking real, man. I don't know how I've lived in this humidity. That's like the honest truth. The humidity here is fucked. Checking in from Seoul, South Korea. Currently at the World Cup Park. Made the hike all the way to the top, but it's so cloudy, you can't see shit. So far so good though, Seoul is a great city. Completely different to Hong Kong. Less humid, less hot, no mosquitoes. I could definitely see myself living here, that's for sure. Plus food portions are freaking huge man they do not hold back but yeah the vibe has been great so far a lot to see well a lot a lot of walking in a lot of steps in so it's been great plan is heading back to hong kong this weekend final four days and then it's time to go home time to fly back to rome and get back on the european scene But yeah, Seoul's turned out to be a great trip. It's been really, really good. Korean barbecue, amazing. Not to mention also their fried rice as well is great. And I also rate the gimbap and the kimchi here. Next level shit. And of course, Korean fried chicken, KFC sit down is all I can say about that. Well, I can definitely say I do not take traveling for granted as well, at all. If you have the opportunity to travel, whether for leisure or for work, I'd say take it and do it. You have to do it, you have to experience different cultures. It's the only way that I think it helps a person to open their mind. And it's a great way to get new experiences, to break the mould, get out of normal routine. It's good to break routine, man. And to do things differently. Be in a different environment and see how you can adapt to it 
how you can adapt to it and see if you can thrive in it as well. It's also a challenge for you personally. And I think that's what I'm looking for now in life is just more challenges, more and more challenges. And I know I've got a fair few ahead. Like 2020 is going to be a big year, a very big year. But like I always say, I wouldn't have it any other way, man. That's exactly what I want and it's exactly what I'm looking forward to. But yeah, this is Henry checking in from Seoul. Hope you've enjoyed the footage from all the Hong Kong vlogs, all three parts. And thanks again for the support. It's been real, man. And see you guys back in Europe. Peace out. Yeah.